Want an easy way to track domains and SSL certificates in Autotask? In this video, I'll show you how you can do this in just five minutes. Hi everybody, my name is Chris Tim from Sandela Consulting. I'm an MSP consultant specializing in helping MSPs to get the best out of Autotask. If you'd like to see more of these videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. Click the bell above to be notified of any new updates. Ready? Let's set the timer and let's go. So one of the first things we want to do at this point is we want to click on new configuration item. So once we've got the new configuration item, there are two configuration item categories that we can use. So one is called domain and the other one is SSL certificate. So we're going to select the one that says domain. And from here, we're going to type in the name of the company. So let's pick Sondela Consulting. We're also going to pick the contact as being Chris Tim. And we're going to pick today is the install date and who this has been installed by. What we can do is now simply just type in the domain name. So we type in the name of the domain. We could come in here and manually go and fill in this information. However, once we click on the save button, oh, we need a product. Once we click on the save button, this will give us the ability to automatically have this information filled in. So you can see I've selected a product here called none. This now gives us the ability to say it's now found an active SSL certificate. And do we want to create an associate? So I'm going to say yes. Now what you can see is it picks up who the registrar is of this. It picks up all of our DNS records. And along with that, it also picks up all of the information associated to this domain. So from here, I can then also see I have a related configuration item, which is that SSL certificate. If I click on the none, Again, I can see all of that information. So, uh, you know, things like when it's valid until, um, as well as that, I can see all of the information about this SSL certificate as a whole. So let's go back to the domain name. Now, let's say you needed to go ahead and make a change to this domain. You would log into your registrar and you'd go and make the domain as per normal. And then you could simply click on tools, update domain details, and this domain would go ahead and automatically be updated. Once that information is updated, it also will actually tell you here under the activity tab that um, the domain has been updated and what the changes were that have been found. Okay, so the next thing we can then do is if we look at um, how, how to actually track for this information. So here we can see the domain expiring in 30 days and the SSL certificates expiring in 30 days. So let's go ahead and click on the settings. And what we can see from here is if we look at this, we can see uh, I've simply created a widget called uh, domain expiry in 30 days, um, and I've picked the entity here to be configuration items. So we're simply doing a count of configuration items and grouping it by the account details. What we can then do is we can filter this by domain expiration date on the domain, and we can pick a dynamic range of now, uh, uh, you know, from now to today plus 30 days. So if I click into this, we'll see that we're starting now and we're ending in today plus 30 days. So this could be 60 or 90. And it really is as simple as that. And the exact same thing we're going to do with, um, with the SSL certificate here as well. So here you will be able to see if I go into the filters, I can see that we are looking at the valid until date SSL with the exact same information. What that means is if we go back to that configuration item and we have a look, this is where we're picking the information. So, uh, you know, we're picking the domain expiration date in here and we're also picking on the SSL certificate. Um, you, you know, we are picking the valid until date. And that's it. It really is as simple as that. So thank you for watching. If you have any comments, please leave them below and I'll come back to you as soon as I possibly can. Thank you very much for watching and see you on the next video.